آؤز بل رحم نشیٹ وانی رجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ کے نام سے شروع کرتا ہوں جو بڑا مہربان اور نیا ٹرم کرنے والا ہے ہمارے سبجیک کا نام ایڈوکیشنل سٹیٹسٹکس ہے اور ہم اس وقت یونیٹ نمبر سیون کو پڑھنے جا رہے ہیں جس کا نام انفرینشل سٹیٹسٹکس ہے اور اس میں ہم کوریلیشن اور ایگریشن کو پڑھیں گے اور ہمارا یہ بی ایٹ کا کورس ہے اور اس کا کورس کورڈ نمبر ایڈ سکس ون فور ہے اور ہماری یونیورسٹی کا نام اللہ مائکمال اوپن یونیورسٹی ہے اور میں آپ کے ساتھ محمد صلی اللہ خان مخاطب ہوں تو آئیے سٹوڈنٹ شروع کرتے ہیں سب سے پہلے ہم پڑھتے ہیں انٹروڈکشن اس چپٹر کا یہ کیا ہے A correlation is a relationship between two variables The purpose of using correlation in research is to determine the degree to which a relationship exists between two or more variables Correlation is important in research because several hypotheses are stated in terms of correlation or lack of correlation between two variables So correlation, uh, correlational st studies and directly related to such hypotheses Regression is used when the relationship includes a de dependent variable and one or more independent variable It helps us understand what which among, among the independent variables are related to the dependent variables and to explore the forms of these relationships Then our students are owning to the importance of correlation and regression in research There, these are given in this unit in detail Are you students are going to start this chapter ke objectives? Ko ye kya hai? explain correlation explain where and why to use correlation explain what consider should be kept in mind while interpreting correlation explain prison and spearman correlation method explain the situation in which spearman correlation can be used explain regression then explain why we use regression analysis then explain type of regression then explain p-value so the next student has passed the correlation correlation is a statistical technique used to measure and describe relation between two variables these variables are neither manipulated nor controlled rather than simply are observed as they naturally exist in the environment suppose a researcher is interested in relationship between numbers of children in a family and IQ of the individual child he would take he would take he would take a group of students coming from different families then he simply observe or record the number of children in a family and then measure IQ score of each individual student same group he will neither manipulate nor control any variable correlation requires two separate scores for each individual one score from each of two variable these scores are normally identify as x and y and can be presented in table or in a group or in a graph characteristics of relationship that correlation measures a correlation measure uh, three characteristics of a relationship between x and y there are they, these are num number one the direction of the relationship the direction of the relationship can be classified in two basic characteristics positive and negative in a positive correlation between a variable tends to change into small direction when variable x increase the variable y also increase and if the variable x decrease the variable y also decrease in other words we can say that both variables are directly proportional to each other in a negative correlation between variables do not tend to change into same direction then they go in uh, opposite direction of each other when the variable x increase the variable y decrease and if the variable x decrease the variable y increase in other words we can say that both variables are 
uh, indirectly proportional to each other. The direction of the relation is def def defined by the sign of the correlation. A positive sign uh, indicates and a relationship a negative sign indi indicates negative relation. Minus one five zero five plus one. Yani ke minus one hoga zero point five hoga. Minus zero point five hoga zero ka minus zero point plus zero point five hoga. Then plus one tak jayega. Man yani ke range is ki minus one se plus one tak students hoga. Then a strong negative mod 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 moderate. Negative no ko no uh, moderate positive. Then a strong positive. Then a relation uh, relation 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 relation. ये काम होता है फिर हम आगे जो है फॉर्म ऑफ द रिलेशन वो क्या है द फॉर्म ऑफ रिलेशन द फॉर्म ऑफ को रिलेशन मयर हाउ वेल द डेटा फिट द स्पेसिफिक फॉर्म बींग कंसिडर्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ लीनियर को रिलेशन मयर हाउ वेल अ डेटा पॉइंट्स फिट इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन फिर है जी मेरे पास द डिग्री ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ये है द डिग्री ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज मयर बाय द नंबर बाय द मेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ द को रिलेशन दिस वैल्यू वेरीज फ्रॉम वन टू माइनस वन अ परफेक्ट को रिलेशन इज ऑलवेज आइडेंटिफाइड बाय अ को रिलेशन ऑफ वन एन इंडिकेट अ परफेक्ट फिट वन विल इंडिकेट परफेक्ट पॉजिटिव को रिलेशन एंड माइनस वन विल इंडिकेट परफेक्ट नेगेटिव को रिलेशन अ को रिलेशन ऑफ जीरो इंडिकेट नो को रिलेशन और नो फिट एट ऑल आगे मेरे पास है द प्रीसन को रिलेशन ये द मोस्ट को कॉमनली यूज को रिलेशन इज द प्रीसन को रिलेशन इट इज आल्सो नोन एज अ प्रीसन प्रोडक्ट मोमेंट को रिलेशन इट मयर्स द डिग्री एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ लीनियर रिलेशन ऑफ बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स इट इज नोटेड बाय आर एंड आर डिग्री टू विच एक्स एंड वाई वेरी टूगेदर डिग्री टू विच एक्स एंड वाई वेरी सेपरेटली इज इक्वल टू को वेरिएबल्स ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई वेरिएबल्स ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सेपरेटली टू कलेक्ट टू कैलकुलेट द प्रीसन को रिलेशन आर वी कैन यूज द फॉर्म ऑफ फॉर्मला स्टूडेंट्स के आर इज इक्वल टू एस पी डिवाइड बाई अंडर रूट एस एस एक्स और एस 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 वाई होगा फिर एस पी इज द सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द डिवियन डेविएशन और फिर टू फॉर्मूला डेफिनेशनल और कॉरस कॉम्पो Positional are available to calculate the sum of the squares of product. Both formulations are given in the following box. Again, the Poisson correlation, that is the definition, that the definition formula is S P is equal to sum of x minus x is equal to y minus y. The computational formula is S P is equal to sum of x y minus sum of x x sum of divided by y. Then here S S is the sum of c squares. फिर के एस एस एक्स इज द सम ऑफ सीक्वेंस स्क्वेयर ऑफ द वेरिएबल एक्स एंड एस एस वाई इज द सम ऑफ सीक्वेंस ऑफ वेरिएबल्स वाई इन द फॉलोइंग लाइन डिफरेंट फॉर्मुलेशन आर गिवन टू टू द कैलकुलेशन एस एस एक्स एंड द एस एस वाई दीज फॉर्मुलेशन आर कैलकुलेट कैटेगराइज एज डेफिन कम्प्यूटेड द डेफिनेशन फॉर्मुलेशन फॉर सम ऑफ सीक्वेंस स्क्वेयर ऑफ द वेरिएबल एक्स एंड एस एस एक्स इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई डिवाइड बाई टू का स्केयर ये यानी स्टूडेंट्स यहाँ पे स्केयर है एक्स एक्स का माइनस का स्केयर है ये मल्टीप्लाई नहीं टू हो रहा फिर है द कम्प्यूटेशन फॉर्मूला फॉर सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द वेरिएबल एक्स आर एस एस एक्स इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एक्स स्केयर फिर है जी डेफिनेशन द डेफिनेशनल फॉर्मूला ऑफ द सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द वेरिएबल वाई आर एस एस वाई इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई का स्क्वेयर फिर है कम्प्यूटेशन फॉर्मूला फॉर द सम ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द वेरिएबल वाई आर एस एस वाई एंड सम ऑफ एक्स और वाई का स्केयर फिर एक चीज़ यहाँ पे रह गई वो है इट शुड बी केप्ट इन माइंड दैट वेन एवर फॉर्मूला वन यूज इट विल इट विल हील सिमिलर रिजल्ट उसके सिमिलर रिजल्ट आने चाहिए फिर यूजिंग द यूजिंग एन Interpreted Poisson correlation. You get first. Let us have a brief discussion about where, 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 and why we use correlation. That that discuss following under the following uh, heading prediction. You get if two variables are known to be related in some systematic way, it is possible to use one variable to make prediction about one. About the other. For example, when a st student seeks ad 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 admission in a college, he is required to submit a great deal of personal information, including his pro 
course in slow scores in ssc annual and so supplementary exam examination the correlation the college official want this information so that they can predict the students uh, change uh, of uh, success in college number second validity suppose a re researcher develop a new test of measuring intelligence it is necessary that he should show that this new test valid and try and truly measured what it play um, claims to measure one common technique for demonstrating validity is use correlation if you know, newly constructed uh, test uh, actually measures intelligence then the score on this test should be related to the other already established measures of intelligence for example standardized iq tests performance on learning task problem solving ability and so on the newly constructed test can be correlated to each other these measures of demonstrates that the new test is valid आगे स्टूडेंट हमारे पास सारे रिल रिलायबिलिटी ये क्या है अपार्ट फ्रॉम डिटर्मिनिंग वेलिडिटी को रिलेशन आर ऑल्सो यूज टू डिटर्मिन रिलायबिलिटी ये क्या है अ मयरमेंट प्रोसीजर रिलायबल इफ इट प्रोड्यूस स्टेबल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट मयरमेंट फिर है जी इट मीन्स अ रिलायबल मयरमेंट प्रोसेस विल प्रोड्यूस the same or nearly same source scores when the same identity uh, individual also measure uh, under the same condition again okay, one common way to evaluate reliability is to use correlation to determine relationship uh, between two sets of scores again okay, ji uh, theory val validation ye okay, kya many uh, psychological theories make specific predictions about the relationship between two variables for example a theory may predict a relationship between brain size and learning ability between the present iq and the uh, child iq etc but in each case the prediction of the theory could be tested by determining the correlation between the two variables Okay, my friends. Now let us have a few words on interpreted correlation. For interpreted correlation, uh, follows uh, for following consideration should be kept in mind. What is it? The mind means what? Okay. Number one, correlation simply describe a relationship between the two variables. It doesn't not explain why two variables are related. That is why correlation cannot be interpreted as a perfect. as a uh, as a profit of a cause and effect relation should between two variables okay here the value of the correlation can now can be affected by range of scores Rel uh, represented in the data pyre one or two extreme data points often called out uh, outliers can be a trust uh, demonstrate the dramatic effect on the value of the correlation but when judgment how could a relation is it is it, it, it attempting to focus on the numerical value for correlation age kya ji the spearman correlation ye the most commonly used measurement of relationship is the pearson correlation it measures the degree of linear relationship between the two variables and is used with the intervals or ratio data however other measures of correlation have a, have been uh, developed for non linear relationship and for other types of data or scale measurement there one such measure measure is the spearman correlation the spearman correlation is used in two situations number 1 ke the spearman correlation is de designed to measure the relationship between variable measure measured 
on uh, an or an ordinary scale or measurement the spearman correlation is used when the relation when the uh, when the researcher want to measure the when the researcher want to measure the cons consistency of a relationship between the variable x and variable y then in this case the original uh, score r first converted into ranks and then separated correlation is used to measure the relationship for the rank then inside incidentally when there is cons consistently one di di directional relationship between two variables the relationship is said to be mono monotic thus the spearman correlation can be used to measure the degree of monotic relationship between two variables aage mera students aa raha hai ji ye the spearman correlation ye hai as a prison correlation measurement uh, measurement the degree of linear relationship between the two variables the spearman correlationship measurement the const the consistency of relationship it can be used as a value value a well alternative of a prison uh, correlation even when the original uh, raw uh, scores are on the interval or a ratio scale there generally spearman correlation is composed by using personal uh, prison correlation formula that is rs is a sp or ssx or ssy there are uh, the another formula is also used to calculate the spearman correlation that is rs is a 1 minus x and uh, sum of d square divided by uh, ssx or ssy there where d is different with difference between x range and y uh, y range for each interval there again this formula will uh, yield the same result as pre prison correlation formula aage mar pass at students regression ye a correlation Uh, quantifies the degree and the direction to which two variables are related but it does not fill fit a line through the d data points where it does no, not have to think about the cause and effect it does not matter uh, what uh, or uh, which of the two variables is called dependent and which is called independent constant dependent or constant independent but on the other hand regression finds the best line that predicts uh, it depends variable from the independent variable the decision of which variable is called dependent and which called independent is an important matter in regression as it will get different uh, best fit line if we exchange two variables but dependent the depend the independent and independent to dependent the, the line the best prediction independent variable from dependent variable will not be the same as the line that predicts dependent variable from independent variable yes ke mere phir ji let us start with the simple case of study is studying the relationship between the two variables x and y the variable x is dependent variable and the variable Uh, x is, is a variable y is dependent and a variable x is independent variable we are interested in seeing how variables how various values of the independent variable x predict correlation co corresponding values of dependent x this is statistical uh, technique is called regression analysis we can say that regression analysis is a technique that is used to model uh, the dependency of one dependent variable upon uh, upon one independent variable emery green webster one online dictionary de defines regression as a functional regression uh, functional functional requirement relationship between the two or more re uh, correlation variables that is often e imp empirically determined from data and is used especially to predict values of one variable when given variable of the other period according to gravenant and velen regression is a statistical technique for finding the best fitting uh, strategic uh, straight line for a set of data is called regression and the resultant uh, and the straight line is called regression line 
अगर पास आ रहे ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस ये क्या है रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस इज यूज टू एक्सप्लेन वेरिएबिलिटी इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बाय मींस ऑफ वन और मोर ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड टू एनालाइज रिलेशनशिप अमंग वेरिएबल्स टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ हाउ मच डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल चेंज विद द चेंज इन द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड फोरकास्ट ऑफ प्रिडिक्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फिर जी द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द रिग्रेशन इज टू डिवेलप अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द रिस्पॉन्स वेरिएबल एंड द एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ प्रोडिक्शन एज्यूम्स डेट द फंक्शनल रिलेशनशिप एग्जिस्ट एंड ऑल्टरनेटिव अप्रोच आर सुपीरियर आगे स्टूडेंट्स हमारे पास आ रहे हैं वाई डू वी यूज रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस एस्टिमेटेड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर वेरिएबल्स एंड इज यूज फॉर फॉरकास्टिंग ऑफ और फाइंडिंग कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरिएबल्स देयर आर मल्टीपल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ यूजिंग द रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस देयर दीज आर एज फॉलो नंबर वन क्या इट इंडिकेट्स द सिग्निफिकेंट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द डिपेंडेंट एंड द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल पे नंबर सेकेंड पे इट इंडिकेट्स द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ऑफ मल्टीपल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स ऑन आर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल पे इट इज अलाउ अस टू कंपेयर द इफेक्ट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स मैयर ऑफ द डिफरेंट फेयर फिर दीज बेनिफिट हेल्प द रिसर्चर्स टू इस्टेब्लिश द evaluate the best uh, set of variables to be used for uh, uh, building the productive models agar sunne hamare paas hai type of regression ye kya commonly used type of regression ye kya hai number 1 linear regression it is the most commonly used type of regression it is a technique it is the technique that dependent variable is continuous and is independent variable and can be continue or discrete कि कंटिन्यूस हो सकते हैं डिस्क्रीट हो सकते हैं फिर जी एंड द नेचर ऑफ रिग्रेशन लाइन इज लीनियर लीनियर रिग्रेशन इस्टेब्लिश रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वाई एंड वन और मोर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एक्स यूजिंग बेस्ट फिट लाइन स्ट्रेट लाइन ऑल्सो नोन एज रिग्रेशन लाइन बेस्ट फिट लाइन को हम रिग्रेशन लाइन भी कहते हैं आगे टाइप ऑफ रिग्रेशन ये क्या है नंबर टू लॉजिकल रिग्रेशन लॉजिकल रिग्रेशन इज आटेटिकल मेथड For analyzing a data set in which there are one or more independent variables that determine uh, an outcome, the the outcome is measured with the this co co this co it makes any yani binary variable like all regression analysis. The logistic regression is a prediction predictive analysis. It is used to describe and explain. relationship between one dependent uh, binary variable and one or the more normally uh, nominal ordinal inter interval or ratio level independent variable again number second pe kya third pe kya polymer uh, regression ye kya it is form of the regression analysis in which the regression between the independent variable x and the dependent variable y is more, more modeled as a nth degree polymer in x this type of regression fits a non linear relationship between the value x value of x with the corresponding value of y fir ji step wise regression ye it is measure for fitting regression model in which the choice of predictive variable is carried out by an automatic pro pro procedure in each step a variable is considered for addition or subtraction subtraction from the set of explanatory variable based on some pre specific criteria the general idea behind this uh, uh, procedure is that we build our regression model from a set of predict predictor variable by uh, entering and removing pre predictor in our module in in a set in a step wise manner until there is no justification reason to enter or remove any more types of regression ye ke rigid regression it is a technique for analyzing multiple regression data that suffers from uh, multicollinearity uh, independent variable are highly 
correlation when multi collinearity occurs the least square estimates are unbiased but their variables are are large so that they may be far from the true value by adding the degree of bias to the regression estimate right re regression re reduce the standard error lazo regression is a lazo regression or lazo standard for at least absolute so instead of the selection of the operation it is measured that perform the both the variable selections and the regression regulations in order to enhance the regression occurring uh, accuracy and interpretability of the uh, statistical model it uh, produce this type of regression used as straight cage is where the data value are structured towards a central point like the mean elastic net regression this type of regression is a tip, uh, hybrid or a lazo and rigid regression technique it is used uh, when there are multiple features which are correlated now this one's my pass at a p value the p value is the level of marginal marginal significance within a statistical hypothesis test representing the uh, probability of occurrence of a given event this value is used as a alternative or uh, regression points to provide the smallest level of the significance at which the null hypothesis be rejected in other words we are seeing that p value is the is the calculation probability or the probability of find the observed or more extreme results when the null hypothesis is true p value is also described in in terms of rejection null hypothesis when it is actually true p p value is used in hypothesis testing to help uh, uh, researchers suppose or reject the null hypothesis it is evident against the null hypothesis the small smaller p value is the so strong the evidence to reject the null hypothesis in condition in conducting the test of statistical in significance the sum of the t test and anova are researcher analysis a researcher answered this uh, cent central question if the null hypothesis was true in the population that is if there is really no difference between the group and no uh, treatment effect uh, what is the probability of uh, uh, obtaining the learning that is we observe in our ex ex experiment the key output of the type of the inf inferential st statistical test is a uh, p value that is value is the probability of the obtaining the same result as previously observed if the p value gets lower that is closer to 0% and far, further away from 100 uh, a re, uh, researcher is more inclined to research the null hypothesis and call the research hypothesis there are relatively simple may, may way to the interpreted p value is the is to think of the them as representing how likely likely uh, results uh, would occur to change per for a uh, calculated p value of 0.01 we can say that the observed outcome uh, would be expected to occur by changing only 1 into 1000 times in repeat in repeating testing on different samples of the population but simply similarly uh, a p value of 0.05 uh, would represent the expect outcome uh, to occur by a change only 5 times out of 100 times in respected tests in respected in repeated tests and the p value of 0.001 would repeated the expected uh, outcome to occur by change only uh, once if the same treatment is repeated for 1000 uh, times 1 uh, on different sample of population it is calculated p value of 0.01 the 
researcher is 99% confident of getting the same similar results if same test is repeated for 100 times similarly in case of p value 0.05 the researcher is 95% confident and in case of p value the 0.001 he is 99.99% confident of getting similar results if same test is re repeated for 100 times and 1000 times respectively so see if you are students here our chapter number 7 close hota hai uh, course code 8614 ka to allah fi meri taraf se good luck to your final exams